my plants are so dead. Gosh, why didn't I get the gardening gene? The succulents are alive. Everything else is dead. This one has been devoured. These two are okay. Succulents are alright. It's a thyme plant, actually. No. No, I think it was an oregano plant. Anyway. Um, and then this one was the delphinium, which is... um also not faring very well. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is my first vlog, I think, that will go up after the big name change. So cruelty free Becky, we've put her to rest. She's uh, She lived a good life. She served me well, but it was, it was time for a change. And I will link my video down below if you wanna hear all the, um, the justification as to why I've changed my username. I've changed it on Instagram now as well, on Twitter. MySpace? No, I don't have MySpace. I am now Bottle Blue, which is originally, was originally my blog name. So I've kind of gone back to my old blog name and I'm still going to be making content. You know, I still love beauty products. I still shop cruelty free and vegan wherever possible, but um, I just, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to go on about it in this video because you can watch that other video if you want to know. But just in case you're wondering, who is this person? This hijacker? You know what? I haven't posted on YouTube in so long as in vlog wise, I got an email, obviously, obviously a, just a spam email, but they were basically saying, hi, I'm in the business of buying inactive YouTube channels and I'm going to give you a really good price. And I thought, okay, this is a sign. I need to get back on it. It's a beautiful day in London town. It's a beautiful day. And this is going to be a little bit higgledy piggledy because I have some other vlogs coming out soon which have actually already been filmed so the order might be a little bit here or there. Our curtains have been redone and I'm looking at them now and I just I'm obsessed with them and I explained it in that other vlog which will go up after this one. Forgive me if the rolling out of my new content is a little bit higgledy piggledy but oh god I just have in a I feel like I'm constantly in a funk. I'm either in a funk or I'm posting on YouTube. When you don't see me on YouTube I'm in a funk. Okay. Yeah, if the if the content that comes out after this video is a little bit confusing because you're thinking, hang on a second, I thought you said you had your curtains redone and now you're moaning about the ugly curtains in your flat. Well, just bear in mind, the timeline is a little bit all over the place, but I'll show you the curtains, the big reveal. Shall I show you now? Yeah, I'll show you now. Dun, 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 dun. We need our windows cleaning. But, um, Look how beautiful they are. Okay, you'll only appreciate it if you realise how ugly they were before and they changed the whole curtain rail and she let me pick the fabric and everything. And I just love them so much. Anyways, this video is gonna be a fun one because we're gonna spend the day together and tonight I'm going to see Nicole from Vegan Beauty Girl. And we are gonna go to, so we're gonna go see a movie and I'm like her plus one to go see Eating Our Way to Extinction, which I'm guessing is probably quite a depressing documentary film type thing, but it's actually the premiere. And I'm very confused as to how much of a premiere this is because originally she told me it was smart casual and I said, okay, cool, yeah, great. I'd love, love to come, love to see you. And then I spoke to Marta, Marta Kanga, I'll put their profiles up here. And she said it was black tie. So um, slight difference in communication. And then Nicole checked and she said it's been updated to be cocktail. So we've got three different dress themes going on here. And it's also at the Leicester Square Odeon, which is where they do all the film premieres. It's where they did the One Direction film premiere. I know that for sure. I didn't go, but I just know that they did the premiere there, like on the square. So yes, I don't know how much of a premiere it's gonna be. I'm really hoping it's just one of those low key ones where you you don't have to stand on a red carpet or anything. You literally just sort of turn up and you get sat to your seat. And it's like an exclusive viewing because I really want to see the movie, but I really don't want my picture taken. Not that anyone would take a picture of me, but you know what I mean. You get what I mean. I was going to go to Selfridges because I went there the other day to have a look at their rental section for their sustainable fashion launch. I had a conversation on Instagram the other day debating whether if it's a good thing or not, if they're actually put making changes or they're just pretending to make changes. They've opened a rental section with her. I think it is H-U-R-R. I went there to have a look the other day and I couldn't really find anything that tickled my pickle and then I was going to go again for this once I found out that the dress code had changed to something more fancy and then I thought you know what I must have something I must have something in my wardrobe I asked around my friends and I'm very busy at work at the moment so I haven't really had time this is really 
boring detail, but I haven't really had time to sort something out. So I will show you my dress options in a bit, but I've started this video feeling very hangry. I haven't eaten and it's one o'clock and I haven't eaten all day. And let me tell you, I'm hungry. And I, I was thinking of making a burger because it's beautiful sunshine, barbecue weather. So I'm thinking of maybe trying one of these new burgers I was sent and I'll show you the little parcel. But yeah, welcome to the vlog. I'm excited for today. Um, I have been not feeling so great. I feel like when I'm not posting on YouTube, which I know, I know, I go quiet and then I post really regularly and then I go quiet. I just have a bit of a, um, I just get myself into, it's just life, isn't it? It's just life. It's just life. So sorry for my absence, but I'm back. I'm back, back. And I'm going to make a burger, I think. Let me show you the package because I had to pop home and it arrived when I wasn't here. So I haven't actually looked at the, the bits. Sorry, my hair looks crazy. Also, this is our second bedroom. Second bedroom. It's quite small. Um, I showed it you on my flat tour thing. Kind of, this is all cycling stuff. Not my cycling stuff, might I add. But I wish it would just all go in a, in a box or something. Something that's not scattered along the top. But there's a lot of admin in this room that just hasn't been done. Like, that's my sewing machine. It's just got a cover chucked on it. And there's just sort of stuff. Like, this room hasn't properly been sorted. And I'm kind of toying with the idea of making this the bedroom. And then the master bedroom making that more of an activities room where I can film and whatnot. This is detail you don't need. But just, <laughs> all I'm saying is if you can see the the gubbins behind me then uh, just ignore it any brand or anyone who works for a brand watches this just please don't send the the knickknacks with the parcel please just don't do it it is just so wasteful even if it's a reusable cup even if it's a reusable bag just please don't do it the brand is called future farm and they're a new i think they're a new vegan brand of meat like fake meat i'll show you the meats that came with it in a moment but i mean oh, i don't need i don't need a sippy cup with a smile on it i mean don't get me wrong the branding is cute i think it's cute oh a little apron okay that's quite fun that is quite fun but i mean it's not something i would go out and buy myself and therefore it's something that i do not need tote bag i will use it oh you are joking you <laughs> Come on, Future Farm. I mean, thank you so much for the parcel, but next time, please, can you just send the vegan meats? Because when am I ever going to wear this? When am I ever going to have an occasion to wear this? I'm sorry, I hope I don't sound ungrateful, but never in my life have I worn a bucket hat. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, festival season, is that what they're going for? I look quite Jack Grealish in this, don't I? Do I? No? Jack at Leeds? God, I've got really into England football. As a side note, that's not what you're not what you're here to hear about. I'm going to try one of these. I think either their future burger. Don't have any burger buns, so I might have to do burger and salad, or their future sausage. They look like the Richmond ones actually, which I'm not a huge fan of. I think these might be better on the barbecue, so I think I'm going to try and cook a burger. You can pan fry them. Okay, cool. Let's try one of these. And this has got no GMO, no gluten, no. No antibiotics. Interesting. <laughs> Is there antibiotics in other vegan meat brands? I'm very intrigued. Not heard of this brand before. Let's give it a go. And hard to do with one hand. Um, side note for this kitchen. It's this is my least favourite room in our flat. And I've got an idea to spruce it up a little bit and do some vinyl wrapping of the cabinets. If anyone's done that before, if you've got any recommendations or top tips, please let me know because I think it's gonna be my next project to kind of spruce up these old like MDF looking wooden cabinets and the kind of glass, translucent glass, which is just revolting. I don't know who picked this set up, but it's not very nice. Um, so yes, obviously I don't want to spend a million dollars, but I do want to kind of spruce it up and make it like a nice kitchen to cook in. So yeah, if you've done any vinyl wrapping, let me know your top tips because I've never done it before, but I think it could be quite a fun exercise. And obviously if I do end up doing it, I will record that and put it on the internet for you to have a gander at. But yes, let's cook this puppy. And I am actually working today, so I'm on my lunch break at the moment. And then I need to crack on because we are very busy. 
and um oh afterwards i'll show you what i'm wearing what i think i'm wearing tonight nicole's been sending me pictures of what she thinks she's wearing i've just it's been a very long time since i've had a situation where it's like oh my gosh what are you wearing do you know what i mean like when was the last time that happened probably pre-2020 for sure pre-2020 um this is what they look like by the way i'll show you in the light and they look incredibly meaty actually i'm intrigued as to how they they cook also a uh, little fridge tour uh my boyfriend isn't vegan by the way hence why you can see real may about there but he does eat vegan stuff like we only have vegan milk in the house and yeah he does eat veggie a lot of the time anyway just a side note that's not my mayonnaise in the background um they also sent with the future farm this garlic mayo from ruby's in the rubble which is my favorite 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 brand of ketchup i love the ketchup so much um and also look at these pickles this is not my doing but homemade pickles probably do a little salad with my burger burger and salad is that a normal combo probably not oh interesting it says to season it yourself with your favorite spices preheat your frying pan oh okay so i need to season it so this literally is like a meat blob and then you need to season it with so it doesn't taste of anything okay I'm, I'm confused i've not had this with vegan meat before i think i'm gonna season with nando's period puri salt which i really recommend we're gonna season with some paprika we're gonna add some garlic granules um and i guess i'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of these on top this is intriguing i've never done this with i mean obviously sometimes you add your own spices to you know with vegan substitutes like if you're cooking vegan mince for example i add my own you know tomato puree i add garlic but i mean i, I do think i need to get myself out of this headspace because i do think you wouldn't just cook meat with nothing on it would you you'd always season your meat you wouldn't just cook a chicken in the oven and not add any garlic or lemon or whatever people add to chicken this is what she looks like <laughs> this is such a weird exercise okay let's try take two Oh, joking me. How did I manage to do that? I think I had it up too high. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I'll scrape off the top part. Side note, they don't take that long to cook. This has only been two minutes. All right. <laughs> no great start. I do like this corner of the kitchen, actually. It's just above the washing up bowl. And I do like it because you can look out on the ivy. This plant is one of my most successful plants. This is the only one I've managed to, I would say that's a thriving house plant. It was like this big when I got it and now it's almost doubled. Don't try this at home, kids. Wait, let me get a chopping board. That's really stupid. Very stupid, Rebecca, that's how you cut yourself. Always use a chopping board. Rule number one. I am so hungry. I could eat a horse, but I wouldn't because I'm vegan. I'm just going to put a scoop of the garlic mayo I mentioned. Um, this is what it's looking like, by the way. It's a bit odd. I don't, I'm not sure about this. It's kind of like a deconstructed burger dish. I don't know what I'm going for. I'll tell you if it tastes good. Okay, taste test. I added a bit of salt as well because I'm starting to think that these burgers don't taste of anything. You have to add salt and pepper and everything to them so let's give it a go it's basically a burger without the bun i'm not sure about that it's a bit like grainy or like bready oh i'm not sure about oh that's a shame that's a shame hopefully the sausages are nicer but i don't think the burger's for me i'll try a bit more but yeah, it doesn't taste of anything. It's quite, the texture's not quite right. It's a little bit gritty slash grainy and it doesn't taste of anything. They haven't added any seasoning to it. Oh, that was such a fail of a lunch. I really did not enjoy that. Also, I think my bronzer has gone quite blotchy. I'm using the Revolution Glow bronzer at the moment and I do really like it, but it's quite pigmented. And I do find depending on which brush I use to apply it, it's just a bit much. I'm feeling a little bit sleepy now um, after all that excitement of the burger. But I am going to crack on with my work and then I guess I'll catch up with you once I am fully dressed. I'm going to do my nails. I'm going to also do my toenails. Just get myself prepped and then catch up with you in a bit. Because I'm going to have to dash straight from work. Once I finish work, I'm going to have to dash straight into town. 
So yeah, it's gonna be a fast turnaround, but I'm excited. The sun is shining, the tank is clean, and we are getting out of, <gasps> the tank is clean. This is the dress that I'm gonna be wearing tonight. It's kind of like this silvery lilac color. It does have a tiny mark on it. Can you see that teeny, teeny, tiny mark? I'm hoping I can just put my hand over that and cover it. But my other options are ones that have long sleeves and it's very warm today. So I'm thinking this lets my pits breathe. Thinking of popping this nail varnish on by Nail Kind. I'm not sure whether to go for something a bit more simple, like a pink on my nails. I mean, they're short and stubby at the moment, so they're never gonna be beautiful. But I don't know, I'm trying to see orange or more of a coral. We'll just go simple and match the kind of iridescentness of the dress. Or oh, this is a velvet Barry M one, which is kind of like semi-matte. I wish you could help me, but obviously by the time you see this, it's already gonna be on my nails. Put on a t-shirt because I'm doing a tiny little bit of last minute fake tanning and I didn't want to get it on my dress. Um, Nicole's just sent me the nicest picture of her wearing this dress she rented from the Selfridges Selfridges section I was talking about earlier. Meanwhile, I'm sat here with a foot mask on. This is the Beauty Pro foot mask. Apparently it's supposed to give you beautifully soft and supple feet. How long do I leave it? I leave it on for 90 minutes. I don't have 90 minutes. 90 minutes. Wow, I did not read the packaging properly. I have one on each foot. And I have to leave them on for 90 minutes. That's an hour and a an hour and a half, isn't it? Yeah. I don't have that long. Okay, well, this was a pointless exercise. Meanwhile, she's all dressed, she's got her makeup on. I've still got my scruffies on, developing a tan as we speak. Anyway, it's still working as well. That's the progress we've had thus far. I will check in with you once the tan is developed and the feet are nice and supple. Why does it take 90 minutes? Dry and dead skin exfoliates away, AHA formula. Oh, maybe it takes that long to like, break down the dead skin. Hmm. Okay, well, um, that's that. Lesson learned, read the packet before you put stuff on your feet. All right, lads, it's time to see the beautiful supple feet. I don't really like my feet, so actually I probably don't want to show you. Yeah, they feel very soft and supple, I'll be honest. They have, it's only been on for about an hour. Um, side note, this is awful. This is the This Works Stress Check Lip Mask. As soon as you put it on, your it, it not only doesn't moisturise your lips, I actually feel like it dries my lips out. Can you see how dry my lips look right now? I've applied this a couple of times today, and every single time it just sinks in. It doesn't do anything. I really, really don't recommend this. They did send this to me in PR. Oh, I've got a blood blister. They sent this to me in PR, but I do not recommend it. Okay, I am ready and good to go. I'm running five minutes late, so I'll just quickly show you my outfit. So I got this from Brick Lane a good few years ago, so it's actually vintage. And I have steamed it, but I feel like there's still a few creases in it. And it's sort of like a midi length on me. And then my shoes are just my boots because I was going to wear heels and then I just thought, you know what? I don't care what the dress code is. I'm not wearing heels. I don't want to. And you can't make me. You know what? I actually might cut my fringe now even though i'm a little bit late should i yeah <laughs> every time i leave the house there's always something okay am i gonna live to regret this yes am i gonna do it anyway yes <laughs> cut this bit a little bit short okay i put my hair back up and now i'm out of the door <laughs>
sorry, I'm listening. No, 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 I'm excited too. <laughs> one does your feet and one does your... Now this is the kind of cinema lifestyle I can get used to. It couldn't be more excited for all of you to be here today. Every part of our natural world is a building block from the foundations up. We know this. And we also know that as we start pulling these blocks out, nature is starting to crumble. And so too is our Earth at an unprecedented rate. These are just facts that most of us already know. But what can we do to stop this from happening? Ignorance cannot be bliss anymore. Collectively, the difference we can make will be seismic. The experts in this film are about to tell you exactly that. The documentary. the documentary well yeah I, I yeah it was it was a true documentary like very fact heavy I'll give you I'll give you a full review later because um, I have a cut yeah I have some thoughts but um, no it was good and da -da -da -da, Kate Winslet was there on stage which was very exciting um, so yes that made it all worth it and there, and we've just gone for a drink and now we're gonna try some food because um, we went to the after party which was um not quite as popping as after premiere after party makes out but um it's all good and yeah and then i'm gonna head home <laughs> wow town is popping everyone's out wednesday is the new friday apparently no, Thursday's the new Friday and Wednesday's the new Thursday. I'm eating my Burger King, vegan Burger King. Vegan Royale, which I've never tried before. Don't judge me for getting Burger King after just watching a documentary about how the food industry is killing us and our planet. I mean, it is the vegan option, so I don't know if that's any better, but it is very good. I've never tried the vegan Royale before. And now I'm gonna walk walk home. I'm just about to walk past the Ritz I thought I would show you because um, people come from far and wide to go to the Ritz. I've actually been to is it my next thing? And I've actually been there for afternoon tea. I took my mum when I used to work at a voucher company. A bit like yeah. Groupon or voucher. So I, it was it was very nice to be fair. Very fancy. A real treat. I really do recommend if you want a treat. The afternoon tea there was good. And they did vegan afternoon tea because I was vegan at the time. So I think maybe it's the next street a lot. Just whilst we're showing you showing you around London. It's definitely around here at Fortnum and Mason. I think it's the next street along actually. But Fortnum and Mason is like a famous tea and like China wear brand. Also quite fancy. Not quite rich standard but... I've been for vegan afternoon tea at Fortnum and Mason as well. Unless you want to spend five hours having afternoon tea, the service was slow. But yeah, I'll show you the Ritz because I do recommend it if you want, if you fancy like a bougie afternoon or looking for a Christmas present or birthday present that's an experience, I do recommend it. And this is the entrance. Yeah, see the doorman over there? So yeah, that's the Ritz in there. It's beautiful. We went at, uh, I think just after Christmas time because it was her Christmas present, I think, for my mum. And it was beautifully decorated. So yeah, that's that. <gasps> we need to get the windows cleaned. Oh, look at that traction. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is only exciting if you knew how awful these curtains were to shut before. Dun, 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 look. look. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. So easy. Great. I did a good job picking that colour, didn't I? Not too light, not too dark. Beautiful. I just want to thank anyone I met tonight from the vegan blogging world who didn't point out <laughs> the fact that my tanning serum has gone 
and left a patch around my mouth. <laughs> oh, you gotta laugh. You really do have to laugh for yourself in life. That's what I've learned. How has that happened? How on earth has that happened? And here we are again. <laughs> In the cupboard. Did you like that? Special effects. Um, good morning, everyone. <laughs> it's the day after the night before, and I've got a little bit of a five o'clock shadow. I don't know if you can see it, but I used a, a tanning serum, and it's uh, done me dirty. So if you can see that around my mouth, just ignore. <laughs> I don't recommend the Isle of Paradise tanning serum. I, I've used it on my body, and it's actually okay if you mix it in with a moisture, like a body lotion put it on your body it works well but on the face it always gives me issues so yeah i don't recommend it but um yeah i just wanted to wrap up this vlog i'm currently making some spaghetti for my breakfast <laughs> because i just fancied it and this is what happens when you live when you're not living with your parents anymore and you're not a child you can have spaghetti for breakfast and nobody can tell you uh, it's not the done thing you know because i make the rules <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm having spaghetti, spaghetti alle olio, is that what it's called? Spaghetti alle olio. It's just spaghetti, olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper, chilli and vegan parmesan. Also, I found the best vegan parmesan. I don't know if I've shown this to you guys already, but this stuff, I got it in M&S. This is incredible. This is the best vegan parmesan I've ever tried. It's also gluten free and soya free and palm oil free. It's really, really, really good. And it just tops off the spaghetti incredibly adds like the saltiness and um yeah really recommend it wasn't the cheapest but it's lasted me a long time cheese review to one side i just wanted to yeah wrap up last night because um it was a really lovely night and i saw some people that i follow online <laughs> obviously i saw nicole and i saw some other people i saw izzy um and at be vegan babe as well on instagram loads of people and i it was, it was good and you know what I was really happy because I actually didn't feel socially anxious and it felt incredible and I don't know if it's just because I had already met Nicole so I didn't really feel I, f I feel like I know her anyway because I follow her online I see her face every single day so I did feel like I already knew her um and I was going with her so I it, it that really really helped but honestly it felt game-changing I genuinely did not feel socially anxious and yeah it, it just I don't know little victories little victories sometimes You've just got to celebrate the small things um but yeah the movie was good well the documentary was good very shocking um about the the, the main part that i found quite shocking because obviously i'm already vegan so i i don't eat a lot of the stuff they were saying we shouldn't eat this and i was like well we were both sat there like hmm. kind of preaching to the choir here but okay cool the fish farming i just never really knew anything about fish farming i think when you go vegan you learn a lot about factory farming i never really looked into fishing that much and i think we have a bit of a romanticized idea of what fishing is it's like a fisherman going out on his boat and casting his um what do you call this thing casting his what do you call that thing casting it's not a net is it line casting the line and getting his catch of the day and you know bringing it home and giving it, giving it to captain bird's eye to package up but it's just not the case and that was it was shocking basically i'll give you a very watered down version of the of what it is because obviously all the technical terms you'd have to watch the movie for but it was basically in norway and in scotland they showed these two places where they have these huge tanks of fish crammed in and they spray them with chemicals i think it was formaldehyde and uh hydrogen peroxide to stop them getting lice because if they're so packed together that if one gets lice the one next to them will get lice and then it will spread really really quickly um and, oh they showed the lice and it was absolutely disgusting um but these poor fish are not only are they sprayed with these chemicals they are also sucked up through huge tubes to be processed whilst they're still alive like covered in the chemicals to get to make sure they don't have the lice on them put back in and they like do this process um and they're basically living as like half dead fish their face is all sort of stripped of scales it was just really really sad these poor fish are literally living in a like a living hell and people are eating this stuff and this is regulated and it's just oh it's horrible let alone the fact that these tanks are like in the lakes or in the seas in norway 
um, and these chemicals are going out into the ocean. Anyway, there were lots of other, you know, facts and stats, but that was just one that I, I, a lot of people say like, oh, I don't eat meat, but I have fish, you know, I'm a pescatarian and it's kind of like, is that any better really? Does that actually have, it's a different impact. It's, it's you know, affecting the oceans as opposed to maybe affecting the, the atmosphere, like the methane um, production from cows. So I do recommend giving it a watch. My, I do have a few critiques. I would say that the, it was very fact heavy, like don't go into it unless you're ready to learn because it was very, very fact and stat heavy. A couple of editing errors. I think I'm quite a harsh critic because like part of my job, my day job is to produce video. So there were a few things that I thought, mm. <laughs> but it's okay, we'll let it slide. I, I would have liked to hear more from people, the people of color who really are impacted by the way we, you know, deforestation in the Amazon. There was a little bit with some tribes, from some people, like tribes people in the Amazon. I would have liked to learn more about their point of view. And it just didn't go into too much detail on that side of things. And I felt like it needed to. And obviously these freak weather situations and um, environmental migration and uh, environmental refugees it is often people of colour that are moving, you know, like places in Africa, for example, most people are like moving north, well, a lot of people are moving north because um, it's just getting too hot and like the droughts and the famines and whatnot um, are unfortunately pretty bad and common. So yeah, I would have liked to learn more from that side of things as well. So I, I do have a few critiques of it. I do think it could have done with a constant presenter or narrator throughout as well, because it felt a bit choppy and jumpy. But you didn't come here for my film review. So <laughs> all I can say is I learned a lot from it and I had a lovely night. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Follow me on my socials, bottle blue, bottle dot blue on Instagram. I'm gonna eat my spaghetti, spaghetti alli olio, and then I'm gonna crack on with my work because it's actually a work day, unfortunately. But it's Friday tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. And then life can resume. Whoop, whoop. Okay, bye. Oh, plot twist. It's actually linguine. It's not spaghetti. That's my bad. I thought this was spaghetti. It would do the same job. <laughs>